before the rulers of Nubia in the 25th dynasty ruled Egypt, two people had to take over. First, there was Alara, who unified Upper Nubia. And then his son, Kushta, whose name means the son of Cush. But after that, Pia took over. And he, Stile, that talks about his victory over Egypt, does not speak of him as a foreigner, but as someone who is reunifying two lands that belong to both of their ancestors. He took over from a previous dynasty, which could hardly be called a dynasty, because it really only had two people. This short-lived dynasty, probably embarrassing as it is, would then lead to one of the greatest dynasties, the Nubian dynasties, where these Nubian rulers ruled from Nubia, ruling Egypt. And luckily for them, that's good, because when they got taken over, they still had a homeland to run away to. This high priest of Ta, and probably the son of the Kushita king, a son of him, speaks volumes, as his physical appearance appears to be the same as other ancient Egyptians. Not only that, he has a side lock on the side of his head. His hair reminds us of all the other ancient Egyptians that we've seen. His nose cracked and his mouth about the same size as any other pharaoh. If we look into other dynasties, though some pharaohs tried to mimic the ancient Egyptians and consider themselves part of the Egyptian ruling class, they couldn't help but depict themselves accurately. Even when they copied some of the ancient Egyptians, they still were like, nope, we look a little bit different. And true, they did look a little bit different. The Nubians, though, no matter how far they strayed, no matter how far they tried to depict themselves as different, at the end of the day, they depicted themselves so close to other Egyptians that it leaves no room for doubt that these people were at least in part the same. Looking at these Kushites working, you can see that their depictions look the same as ancient Egyptians. Almost too similar, right? That's because these are not Kushites. This is a depiction of Egyptians 2400 BC. But... If you thought that they were Kushites, then you agree with me that they look like Kushites. In fact, to me, they look almost identical. I can't even see the difference. They don't even look the same as that statue that I just showed. They look like they depict the exact same person. And I understand that it's cartoony drawing, but what do you want? I love these types of drawings because they take away some of the arguments that a lot of people make where men who are rich are wearing Nubian wigs but as you can see here these people are at work and this is a beautiful display of uh, them cutting up meat and cooking meat and doing whatever which is interesting that it takes look at the size of that animal in front of those people this is nothing short of beautiful and to think that it's from 2400 BC is insane but if we return to Pia and the kings of Kush especially the victory stealer of Kush over Egypt and the Libyans regional year 21 first month of inundation under the majesty of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Pia, beloved of Amun, living forever, the decree which my majesty has spoken, hear what I have done in exceeding the ancestors. I am the king, the representation of God, the living image of a tomb, who issued from the womb marked as ruler, who is feared by those greater than he. 
whose father knew and whose mother perceived even in the egg that he would be ruler, the good God, beloved of the gods, the son of Ra, who acts with his two arms, Pie, beloved of a moon. I'm actually glad that this Kushite dynasty was one of the last dynasties of Egypt because if they had never taken over, there would have been so many people doubting that Kushites even existed or were involved in Egypt in any way, shape, or form. And to see them in this deep in Egypt, just completely taking over north and south and then ruling from their homeland, it completely removes all doubt. And it makes it obvious even to the Egyptologists who, when asked about it, they sound regretful that they have to admit that this is a true African civilization. Even though, you know, there's some people who are going out of their way to say there was a lot of DNA from the Middle East in those areas. Because, of course, you can't let things just be these Nilotics who have been in the Nile forever as I showed in my previous video about the Nile it was always eventual that they were gonna take over Egypt at some point they were always there not to mention that they did as the Egyptians they did it a long time ago It's hard because sometimes doubt enters the mind and it makes you think, were the Egyptians really who they say they were? But stuff like this reminds you that all, all evidence points towards that area. And I think I should revise or redo a video where I go back and show you the martial art, the visual images, and all this other stuff because I think some people forget they I, I show one thing at a time and what that does is it makes people forget that there is a whole stream of stuff and I sh think I should compare it to the Native Americans to show what a core culture looks like so in other words you start with you've got this culture over here and you got this culture over here and though they split in two different directions you can tell they're the same because if you look at everything else they do except you know their location specific they have the same basic culture in almost every other way and this is what I need to redo I mean I know a lot of you are gonna be like oh we've seen this before but it's important to put it all in one video